Welcome back to Sierra Tutorials. I'm Jessica and in this video I'll be showing you how to add both static and customizable products such as business cards to your shopping cart and then how to check out. First I'll be going over how to add a static item to your shopping cart. Once you navigate to the item that you want to purchase you'll be taken to this information page. Here you can see the title of the item and you can also view a larger picture of what the item is. Over here you'll see there's a quantity and a selection drop-down. In the selection drop-down you can see that there's a box of 500 and a box of 1000 envelopes. If I were to choose this box of 1000 envelopes and then change the quantity of 2 that means that I would like two boxes of 1,000 envelopes. Keep in mind that for some companies, pricing is cheaper based on what selection you choose. So if you were to do two boxes of 500, which would equal 1,000, it could cost more than if you were to just select one box of 1,000. I'll be going over this a little later. Also, there is an area here to input any additional instructions if you have any. Finally, you just simply add to cart. And now that item is added to your shopping cart. Next, I'll be going over how to add a customizable business card to your shopping cart. Again, you're taken to the product information page. I can zoom in on the product. Here's the title. And here is a better example of the pricing. So here we have a box of 250, a box of 500, or a box of 1000. If I choose the box of 500 and change the quantity to 2, the price changes to $96. But if I change that to 1 and I choose a box of 1000 the price is only $70. That's because we have special um, markdowns based on quantities. So just make, be aware of that. For customizable products, you have the option to name your job. This is really important in case you save your item for later or if you want to reorder this customizable item down in the future naming your job will make it easier to find your product. I like to name it the name of the person that I'll be creating the card for. So right now I'm just doing a test so I'm going to be making the card for first and last name. Again there is this box here for any additional instructions you may have. Once you're done filling out this page you have your quantity filled out and you've named your personalized job you click on Personalize to add to cart. Now we are taken to the Personalize page. Here you'll see a drop down for page number, preview size, and update preview. This page number drop down is in case your product has multiple pages or if it's a business card with two sides, a front and a back. This business card only has a front side, so there's only one page. If there was a back side, you would then select page 2, and it would display the back. Preview size allows you to change the size of the image displayed in right here. Large is good if you really want to get up close and personal and really see the information up close. If you want to drag the card around, you simply left click and drag. If you want to see the card in its entirety, there are different sizes you can choose from. Standard is my go-to. There's also small, extra large, and extra extra large. Again, just left click and drag to view all the different parts of the card. Over here is where you'll enter in the information for the card. So I'm creating this card for first and last. Mm -hmm. 
Once I've entered in all the information, I then click Update Preview. I can now see the changes that I've made. I approve this document as it looks correct. And now Add to Cart. When you're new to the site and you get to your shopping cart, you may see this yellow box here that says you must add an address to your address book before proceeding to checkout. In order to do that, just simply click on this link for Edit Address Book. And here you will add a new address. This address is your shipping address. This address will not be filled in when you are customizing any products. This is simply for shipping. Fill out all of the required information. and then click Save. You can add multiple addresses here in your address book. And once you have more than one, you'll have a list here. And you can choose one to make your primary address so that it always shows up first. You can also edit any addresses by clicking on this Edit box here and then you can change the information if you need to. I'm going to go back to my shopping cart now that I have updated my address. Once we have returned to our shopping cart, we can now see the shipping address and shipping options available to us. If you're within the Sierra delivery area, you'll have the option to choose the free Sierra delivery. If you're out of our free delivery area, you will be given options to choose from for UPS shipping. Here you can also see that you can duplicate, save for later, edit, and remove. We just want to check out, so we'll proceed to check out. Now on this checkout page, you can see that there's an area to enter in additional comments. There's this payment method area. Some businesses will be able to have the option to pay by credit card or PO number, and those options will be listed here. If you do not have a credit card or PO option, then simply leaving this here and just clicking Submit Will complete the order. Here is an example of a checkout screen with multiple payment methods. Company paid means that your company is billed directly by Sierra. If you would like to pay by credit card, you simply check this box here, fill out your credit card information, and then pay with credit card, and that will complete your order. If you'd like to be Build by Sierra, then you will choose the company paid checkout button. If I go ahead and click this, you'll see that my order has been placed. You can see the order number, order date and time. I can reorder if I'd like. You can see where it is shipped to, who it was ordered by, what I ordered, can download proofs and see preview of your customized item. This concludes how to add items to your shopping cart and checkout.